your story with story time. And today our stories are about love because in five days on Monday, it's going to be Valentine's Day. And that's a day that we all express how much we love each other. But I think we should do that every day. So why don't we go ahead and start with our hello song, okay? We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Hello, everybody. I wish we could see each other in person, but this is how we have to do it for now, so everybody's safe. Okay, now we're gonna do something with our hands, okay? We're gonna put our hands together. This is how we start. We fold our fingers right around, and we can make a heart. I don't know if you can see my heart. There, there's my heart. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. Put your fingers together, you put your hands together. This is how we start. We fold our fingers right around and you can make a heart. There you go. <laughs> okay, so my first story is a Valentine's Day story. In fact, both my stories are Valentine's Day stories. And this one is my first Valentine's Day book. And this, um, we're able to read Excuse me. Thanks to King Fisher under Macmillan Publishing. We have permission to share this with you today. Okay. Two little squirrels sit high up in a tree. They whisper to each other, you are the one for me. Aren't they cute? And if you look at the way their tails go, it sort of looks like a heart. And we have a Valentine card for that. Let's see. Okay, and it says, I don't know if I can get it open. Oops, <laughs> you know Miss Lori, she's always dropping something. I'm nuts for you. Because squirrels like nuts. So that was cute. Okay, let's see what the next one is. Aw, look at here. <laughs> Cuddled up together as a cozy fire glows. Paws. This is Paws. That's the name of the cat because of its paws right there, all, all white. Leans over and kisses Patch's nose. This is Patch. Do any of you have cats? I don't have a cat. I like cats. Okay, here's the card. And it says, you're perfect. I think this is my favorite one. Do you know what those are? For little seals, ice and snow are bliss. But best of all is a Valentine's kiss. Let's see what their card says. Hmm. Here it is. And it says sealed with a kiss. Fluffy white lamb skips as high as the skies. Here comes her sweetheart with a Valentine surprise. Look at the clouds, they're in the shape of hearts. I don't think I've ever seen a cloud in the shape of a heart, but I'm not saying it can't be done. Okay, let's see. Let's see the picture. And Will you be mine? And it's will you, E-W-E, -E, be mine? Because that's another name for a sheep. When they're babies, they're lambs. When it's a mother, it's, or a girl, she, older sheep, it's called a you. Okay. This loving little bear has a Valentine's treat. Honey for his honey, sweets for his sweet.
Maybe you guess what his card will say. Or her card. Okay, ready? There's. And you're my honey. <laughs> The end. Okay, so we're going to do another um, action rhyme, and we're going to do a little sign, and the sign for heart is, use your middle finger right here, and you tap it where your heart is, okay, and that's heart, or another way you can do it is just draw a heart right there. You can do it both ways, okay? So, I have a little heart, and it goes thump, thump, thump. It keeps right on beating when I jump, jump, jump. I hope you're jumping really high. I get a special feeling when I look at you. It makes me want to give you a hug or two. Are you hugging me right back? Let's do it again. And this time we'll draw the heart. Or if you want to tap it, that's fine too. Okay. I have a little heart and it goes thump, thump, thump. It keeps right on beating when I jump, jump, jump. <laughs> I get a special feeling. When I look at you, it makes me want to give you a hug or two, or maybe three, four. We could be here all day. Okay. Now, uh, my next story is Be Mine, and it was written by Olive Hu, H E W, and illustrated by Daniel Morton. And we have permission from Lil Simon, who is a imprint of Simon & Schuster Children's Publishing Division. So we are able to share this with you today. And it's a special book because, we'll see. These are more Valentine's Day cards. Mr. and Mrs. Lee and family. One Furball Drive, Dogtown, USA. And it says, Please be my Valentine. Not please, please. And look at what happens. It's a pop-up book. And it says, no bones about it. Your top dog, Love Rex. So apparently this is a dog that actually likes fleas. See them jumping around? Good for you, Rex. Ah, here we go again. Miss Ava Hugh, care of Mary Had a Little Lamb, 555 Ba Ba Black Sheep, Fleeceville, USA. And it says, will you be mine? Not will you be mine, but wool, because we get wool from sheep. Will you be mine? And it says, I love you, E-W-E. Love, Larry Lamb. I like pop-up books. Okay. Mr. Hoppity, 11 Lily Pad Pond, Watery Bog, USA. And it says, ribbit, ribbit. You make me jump for joy. Love, Lucy Leapfrog. <laughs> okay. This one is Little Kittens by Glitter Box Lane. <laughs> Meowville, USA. To my little kittens who lost their mittens. You're a perfect pair, love, mother, cat. There you go. Is it popping out at you? <laughs> OK. 
okay, this is Mr. B-I-G, and that spells big elephant. So Mr. Big Elephant, 361 Wrinkle Knees Court, Big Top City, USA. From my tail to my trunk. I'm nuts about you, love, Pinky. I'm kind of thinking Pinky might be the mouse. And see how they made a heart with their trunks? And there's the mouse right there. So I think Pinky's the mouse. At least I like to think so. Mama Bear and Papa Bear, 99 Goldilocks Lane, Magic Forest, USA. This one says, be mine. Who do you think this one's for? Is it for Mama Bear and Papa Bear? Hmm. How many of you said Goldilocks? How many of you said Baby Bear? Honey, you make my heart buzz. Love, Baby Bear. <laughs> See, you can give Valentine to your mom and dad. My sweetheart, 49 Lovers Lane, Kissimmee, USA. Of all these creatures, big and small, I love you most of all. Happy Valentine's Day. You know all the different creatures? Animals? <laughs> okay. Now, if you haven't picked up your craft, you still have some left. And it's a... Oh, let me see if I can find it. Remember, there's a limited supply, and this is what it looks like. I made a picture of it because we only had a limited supply, and I didn't want to take one away to make, to show you, so I put them all out. So there, is, that's the picture. It's a Valentine flower pot that you can share. You can give it to your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, your aunt. I always throw aunt in there because I'm a great aunt. Um, uncle, brother, sister, or friend just to share a valentine with someone okay but i also put in an extra craft for everybody and somebody probably got something different so i'm going to show you how to do some of those okay i just have to get all my supplies out okay so i started with the snail so maybe you got the snail like this and there's a place in the middle that you just fold it over. And of course you glue on the eyes, I already did that. But then you have this piece and you and there's another part where you just fold this over and there's a piece of tape. So you wanna take that tape off and stick them together because look what it makes, a heart. And then on the bottom, there's some more pieces of tape. There's little places to hook this up to make it shaped like that. And then we gotta try to take this off go on the other side okay and then that sticks on here hopefully <laughs> I did say these were old crafts sometimes they don't work as well oh I think they're gonna work and so here's the snail and it has a heart on it there we go so that's Craft number one. Maybe you got that one. Or maybe you got this one. And this is just putting all the pieces together. I happen to have the one that says, um, we go together like peanut butter and jelly. There are some other ones that say, Valentine, we go together like a burger and fries, or Valentine, we go together like milk and cookies. So whichever one you got. 
All right. So we just take this piece and see how there's some writing here. You can either cover it up with this or put it on the bottom. And then you have to start peeling this off just like that. And you want the valentine on top, even though you can always turn it around because it is a circle. All right, so we're going to do that. But before we do that, we are going to stick our ribbon inside so that you can hang it up somewhere. So I'm going to put one side down and then the other side up. Oh, it got loose. And then push it down so it will stay. And then you can hang it up. Okay, and then we have a peanut butter, and we have a jelly. I gotta take the little backing off there. And you basically can really put it anywhere. Let's put peanut butter on one side and jelly on the other side. Where it says peanut butter, put the peanut butter one. But it doesn't really matter. And then we have this one. There you go, just like that. Okay, or maybe you had the cookies and milk. And then we got lots of hearts. I'm just going to put a couple on so that we can move on to the next one. I just have to peel the little cut off. And stick them wherever you want to stick them. It doesn't really matter. It's your picture or your Valentine to give to someone. Is there somebody you know that really likes peanut butter and jelly or milk and cookies or burger and fries? Okay. And there's blue hearts and there's gold hearts. I'm just going to put the red hearts on for now. Okay. Now mine is done. There is my peanut butter and jelly. Valentine's. Okay, the last one. Oh, I'm not sure if I brought everything. Sometimes I have a lot of stuff to carry in here. <laughs> but anyway, it's Wooly. Remember, we had that already. Wooly instead of Will be my Valentine. And it's a lamb. And then you got a bunch of, of these circles on here and actually oops where's the phone it does have the sticky stuff on it it's been a long time since I've done this one so I didn't remember so if you just peel that off okay that's still not gonna work I'm sorry <laughs> okay don't know if you really need to put that on <laughs> or not, but, oh, yes you do, because it, it's sticky on both sides. My story is <laughs> all messed up here. Okay, let's see, we can get the sticky stuff off. There we go, oh, I'm on track now, I'm, I know what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. So you have got blue dots that you can use for something else. And you just start sticking the little balls on them. Just mix them up and just try to cover up as much of the sticky stuff so it doesn't get sticky as you can. I like the pink ones. Put the pink ones here. And add some yellow and purple. And a red one, so you can see what I'm doing there. Just stick them on. And then there's a top piece also. And you just peel that off. And then you put it on the top right here, on the head right there. Sticking to my fingers. And then you can put the pom poms on there too. I think I might put a great big pink one on there. No, I'll put it down here. <laughs> okay. Yellow. 
I'm not going to finish it. I'm just going to let you see what it's done. But you can do it your way. Okay, so you don't need the glue dots. Keep them for something else. They always come in handy with me. But that's our story time for today. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. Make sure you tell someone you love every day, not just on Valentine's Day. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Miss you.